The following program is rated TV MALSV. It contains strong language, sexual situations, and violence. It is intended only for mature audiences. That's a bet that you could probably easily make. One yeah. of the very few tonight. Yeah. I mean, not, yeah. not many things have been predictable, but <laughs> that I would say is probably one of them. That is indeed. I have worked with both of these ladies on multiple occasions, and each time has been an intense, intense battle. They have not gone against each other. However, recently, Genocide did go against the Woad. And that was so impressive at Mission Pro Wrestling. She even pile drived the woad, so I know that she could toss Vanity around. I'm waiting to see if Vanity can toss Genocide around. These are two powerhouses squaring off in the ring right now. Yes, indeed. I mean, the Wrestle Bay of professional wrestling herself. Vanity, she's, she's happy, she's fun, she's cute, but she's also very athletic, she's very agile. She is very cocky. She knows what she's capable of. Waist lock takedown from Genocide. Getting that power that you mentioned on display early here from Genocide. I mean, Genocide is a bodybuilder. She is a weightlifter. She is known as a fitness freak. So she lifts and deadlifts many, many, many pounds. And so she can toss her opponents around in the ring regardless of height, size, weight, anything. Well, that is a useful tool against someone, especially like Vanity. And right now, Vanity trying to fight her way back into this thing, but Genocide trying to keep her at bay. I think she woke her up with that forearm shot. Now they're trading blows in the center of the ring. Yes, indeed, Vanity. Whoa! Vanity trying to lift Genocide. <laughs> Stakes are so high tonight, Brittany, in this tournament. Again, not only will the winner become the inaugural Diamond Cup winner here at Generation Championship Wrestling, but they will also be crowned the new GCW Women's Champion. Of course, the former champion, Kylin King, due to her obligations oh. elsewhere, unable to fulfill them. So we have had to fill Damn. that position, looking to see who's going to become the new GCW Women's Champion. And oh. we've got some impressive women in here, even still. Sky Blue, of course, earlier, knocking off Diana Perrazzo. We saw Queen Aminata advance. We just saw Shaw Guerrero advance, and one of these two women will advance to the semifinals as well. Yes, they will. Oh, Vanity roll going for that roll-up. Not able to get the right angle to get the shoulder down in time. Not if we count onto the ropes. Oh. Uh oh, sunset flip. She's hanging on. I mean, she really did try that, though. I mean, she's going to power her up. Wow. Yeah. Impressive. 
impressive wow. display of strength from Genocide. Oh! Hooks her up. That is some serious strength you're seeing right there. I mean, but she is. Oh! I mean, that's, that's not going to hurt. She's bionic. You, you know that, right? That, that, was, uh, that was in the intro. She's like, That was there. I, yeah. I had that written down. Did you? I did. Yeah? I take good notes. Okay. You're not the only one. <laughs> Vanity now. Standing on the left. Oh, went for the flip. But Genocide hangs on. Again, that strength on display from Genocide. Oh, take that leg, that Larry, it takes down Vanity. That is a very heavy leg to come at you as well. That's not fun. Well, not many women usually like to convey their weight in their introductions, but I was told in no uncertain terms upon introducing Genocide to mention that she is six feet tall and 200 pounds, two factors that I would imagine, if she would actually speak to me, that she is very proud of. I mean, I've spoken to her, but that's just because, you know, I also speak cyborg, so. I didn't know that about her. Yeah. That is an, see, we learned nothing tonight, folks. It is that Brittany Nicole speaks full on cyborg. Right here at the Diamond Cup, you're getting some exclusives. And right now, inside that ring, Vanity is trying to fight her way back into this thing against Genocide with some right hands. But Genocide, Snapmare, takeover. Off the ropes. Oh. And a crossbody Body low. Into a pin. Not quite enough to put her oh away just two. yet. I mean, Vanity is a fighter. Like we said, she's from New Jersey. She's from both sides of the track. She is of Haitian Cuban descent. She is out there fighting for her culture, for her pride, for, I guess, Jersey. Nothing wrong I with get, that. I, I get it. I, yeah. I mean, I don't fight for Jersey much anymore, but I, I respect those who do. I'm mean, yeah, sure. I'm from New it's Orleans. Not, it's uh, not Louisiana, but you know. <laughs> I mean, not much in New Orleans, but you know. You can say that again. <laughs> Genocide now still firmly in control and stomping away at Vanity. And that's the thing, as I've said before, advantages is every inch of your height, your weight, your reach. And Genocide clearly has the advantage on Vanity here when it comes to that. Looking for an Irish whip, corner to corner, in goes Vanity, and here comes Genocide. Oh, wait a minute, catches the back elbow. Vanity trying to keep her at bay as best she can. Fighting her way out of the corner. Catches her and drives her face first into that second turnbuckle. Right into that turnbuckle. Great wherewithal from Vanity. She has taken some dazed serious and punishment. Confused here. Yeah. Gonna trying to pull herself up. And esteem. Vanity now yeah. taking the offensive advantage. Oh. What are we gonna see here? Genocide definitely cut. If we're gonna see a sharp back elbow. Are right we gonna into the see play. what I think we're gonna see? We are all gonna see the cookie cutter. Oh! oh. Shades of dust and roads, and I guess when men aren't in the ring, that is not a disqualification, or I guess if a cyborg is in the ring, that's not a disqualification. Well, you know, it's one of those things, it doesn't matter if it, it, it still hurts, just so you know. It definitely I mean, I'm not saying that there's not impact. Hurts. I'm, I'm just, a definitely a difference in rules here in women's versus men's matches. Vanity went for the cover, but the cyborg kicks out the bionic beast genocide. Still in this thing. But Vanity trying to put her away. I'm sorry. I'm still. I'm still over here hurting from that cookie cutter. Uh, give me a moment. That's an interesting name for that maneuver. I'm just gonna say that. And we're gonna leave it there. <laughs> Vanity up on the second rope, oh, unaware that genocide is back to her feet. But she's aware now. Jenna is like uh -oh. the six million dollar man. She's trying to dump her out onto the. Con oh my oh. goodness. God. Damn. Like I said, up, that looks like a tombstone this, pile driver, and she catches her with it. Much like how she took out Wode. Oh, and there we go. The winner of this contest by pinfall. Genocide. The beast. Genocide. Advancing to the semifinals with that devastating pile driver. Uh, again, the cyborg just may win this Diamond Cup and the Women's Championship for GCW. Well, and a fitting tribute to The Undertaker, who recently retired. Woo! An important figure in all of professional wrestling. He's influenced most of us. One of the reasons I'm even in wrestling is because of my interest in him. And Genocide certainly paying homage to him with that Tombstone Piledriver, which sends her advancing into the semifinals. Don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. We've got more GCW 14 coming your way.